Hi everybody, and here we are on the first day of the week, the last week of this half term, and so we're coming up to a week's holiday. Yeah, great, awesome. Right then, so we've been looking at behind the scenes, and uh, I, I looked up in the dictionary what this phrase uh, it actually means. I mean, I know what it means, but I just want to see what they say about it, and, and this is what it said about it. Out of sight of the public at a theatre or organisation. OK, the synonyms are this secretly, in secret, privately, in private, behind closed doors. Do you know, I, I always find that a little bit scary. You'll, you'll find that all through life there will be decisions being made behind closed doors by faceless people, um, people you don't know, people making decisions about bank loans or mortgages or your job, um, all sorts of things, people behind closed doors. So it, it kind of sounds a little bit scary, but that is actually how the world works. Um, clandestine clandestinely clan, can clandestinely <laughs> whatever surreptitiously confidentially off the record it's a bit american that isn't it off the record um on the quiet oh that's more english isn't it oh on the quiet we're doing that on the quiet yeah so that's behind the scenes and um, yeah, we're a community and I love it that you've seen some of the people who work in our community at Ludsworth College uh, doing stuff all the time. Teams of people doing stuff all the time that quite often we don't realise are going on. But we do notice. We definitely notice um, if the, um, uh, the cleaning staff weren't doing their job, we would notice very quickly if they weren't doing their job. Or the premises officers, if they weren't doing their job, this place just wouldn't work. Uh, and that, that is the reality. So there's always things going on behind the scenes. And do you know what? Um, we're not just this community here. We are a, a society. Um, we are a nation. And there is so much going on behind the scenes all the time. Loads and loads of stuff. Um, there's loads of people involved with everything that goes on. You just get on an aeroplane to go on your holiday. You, you come in contact with a, a few people who work for the airline. But there are hundreds of people getting that plane up in the air and looking after it and all the, all the things that have to happen. Um, I think I've always thought this 24-7 there are so many people working for all of our benefits. Um, we think about the emergency services. Any time of day or night, you can ring 999 and there's somebody there on the end of the phone. But they will put you on to other people, whatever you need, fire brigade, ambulance, uh, you know, police, whatever. So many people involved. We've got... Uh, the water supply, the gas supply, the electricity supply, these things are going on all the time. Telephones, um, they're just, this stuff is going on all the time. I actually think about that my mobile, okay, and you know, everything about this, all these little shapes and all the things that you see have been designed by people, teams of people. And that's before you get inside the technology and then everything that, that makes it work. There are so many people doing so many jobs all the time. Um, do you know what? Uh, I, I always get amazed when, if you ever bother to watch all the, the names and the writing going up at, at the end of a film, sometimes you see hundreds and hundreds of names just to get that two-hour film to you. And um, I, I've always thought, oh, it's quite amazing, that is. You have a handful of stars and then there's all these other people. Um, and talking of films, I always remember that ancient film now called Ants. I don't know if you've ever seen Ants. Uh, uh, I, I just like it. I, I like um, the the concept there. And it starts off and there's a guy um, with a, a therapist. <laughs> And this guy, this little ant is having therapy and you can hear this talking going on. And basically the therapist is trying to convince this ant, Z, that he's a nothing. And I hate that. What a terrible concept that is. Because 
course he's not a nothing. And uh, we must never think that we are nothings. We are everything. That's what you've got to remember. Um, and then uh, you see this scene where there's an ant going, OK, everybody, be the ball. Like that. And, and you see millions of ants all stuck together and they're a wrecking ball. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is quite amazing. In this COVID uh, that's been going on, that we're really sick of and bored of right now, um, there's been such massive value put on people that are behind the scenes that we don't usually see, the carers and how they've been on the front line. And, and many of them have paid with their lives. It's quite amazing. Um, I'm very aware of carers. We have carers looking after my youngest daughter, carers looking after my mum, who's in a nursing home, very aware of carers. And of course, we've we've had the cleaners from Littleworth College uh, the sick busters we got a call sick busters and i like the fact there's 18 of them i call them the 18 the 18 yeah you know yeah right um he, yeah they are really um fantastic now then i can also remember decades ago my sister-in-law who is now that wasn't then she's just a girl um i got a phone call could you come and pick her up because she's ill well, if there was ever a sickness bug going around, she would always catch it, um, and um, dramatically. And she was she was in the sixth form at this time, and she was at the top of the stairs in O Block, just by um, the the entrance there before those the electric doors that open and shut. Now it was all open, big open space, and she just hurled over the banister. <laughs> It must have taken about five seconds for the sick to hit the floor. And it just exploded on the floor and it went everywhere. And I remember the cleaner, this guy, he came to me and I said, oh, um, I'm, it's a terrible mess here. Everybody's just been skidding through it. And he goes, that's fine. That's OK. I'm going to I'll sort this. And I'm, just now I'm seeing me. So, yeah, sick busters. Yeah, yeah, we, we love you. You've always been around. There are always loads and loads of people involved with everything. Now then. I just want to read you a quick little story from the Bible. This is from 3,000 years ago. This is King Solomon when he built the temple. Parts of it are still there in Jerusalem. Um, you may have heard of the, the Wailing Wall. You may have seen it. It's uh, uh, Jewish people go there and they pray. There's a lot of war going on there at the moment. But um, when it was being built, you listen to this. Solomon had 70,000 carriers and 80,000 stonecutters in the hills, as well as 3,300 foremen who supervised the project and directed the workmen. And I just love that. There's always loads of people involved with everything that's going on that always has been. So what does this mean to us? What does this mean to, to you today? Well, we need to be aware of all that is going on and on all these people and really value them they are precious to us and we need them in our culture and in our society in our nation but also there are opportunities for people there many many opportunities there is so much stuff that goes on behind closed doors surreptitiously um, unseen um, and the thing about things that are unseen you can't see them there are opportunities out there that you need to work for right now you don't even know they're there that's why it's good to be working hard right now to do anything and everything so I'm, I'm really thinking today about being courageous being hard working and being reflective because this takes thought this does okay so we need to appreciate and recognize appreciate the people and recognize that there are opportunities for everyone out there behind the scenes. Okay, let's finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Be with us now in the name of Jesus. Give us a great week. Amen. Amen, everybody. Have a fabulous week.